Hey guys, and welcome to Tasmania TV. In today's video, I'm showing you how to make this, which is a super easy, fun way to make a skirt. What you'll need for this is lots and lots of different kinds of fabric. Now, obviously, you can make it use using just one fabric if you want to. The whole point of the skirt is to combine all kinds of different fabrics. I'm making my skirt black and purple today and I'm just using like whatever scraps of fabric I've got laying around and then just combining those into this one skirt. I did get a request a couple months ago for a similar skirt so I hope that this kind of falls into that category. Um, I don't remember what that particular kind of skirt was called so I'm just referring to this as the super simple multi-layered skirt. If you want to make this skirt even more easy, then go ahead and only choose the kinds of fabric that won't need hemming, such as t-shirt fabrics and jerseys and stuff like that, because if you have a fabric that you can cut without having to sew the edges shut to keep it from opening up, then you've got a really easy work in front of you. You're also going to need an elastic band. I recommend using a band that's a little bit thicker. This one is about four centimeters. Um, just because you want something sturdy. This is the only thing keeping the skirt together and you will be sewing a lot of pieces of fabric to the elastic band. So if you get one that's too thin, there's not going to be enough room for that. So yeah, I'm just going to start cutting these pieces into triangles and I'm going to use all different kinds of shapes and sizes of triangles. But the thing that they're going to have in common is that the straight line of the triangle is going to go at the top and then the pointy end is going to go at the bottom. So that's what I'm going to start doing, cutting me some triangles. So after cutting like a crazy person for like a half hour, I've got 56 different triangular shaped fabrics, fabric pieces, and I have used five different kinds of fabrics. So it's time to start putting these together into a skirt. The very first thing I'm doing is measuring out my elastic for the waistband. I'm not a huge fan of having my skirts go very high, so I'm just gonna take this down sort of matching where my shorts go. And then mark that with a pin. After my elastic has been cut to fit my waist, I'm not gonna sew it together just yet. I'm gonna start by laying it out and then laying the fabrics on top of each other along the side of the elastic and pin them down so that we can sew everything together at once. The most important thing to remember when you start layering your fabric pieces is to place all the smaller ones first, meaning the ones that you want to be in the front, so the larger, more covering pieces go on last, which is a good thing, because if you've placed and pinned all your fabric pieces, then you can go ahead and try your skirt on and you can check to see if it covers your booty and anything else you might want to cover. And if it doesn't, you can just keep adding more pieces of fabric. So starting with the smaller pieces. By the outer edge of your elastic, don't place the fabrics all the way out because once we sew this together, you're going to need to sew a little bit into the elastic. Just remember that for both sides. Once you're done with all your small pieces, just continue with your bigger pieces, layering and layering.
Once all of your triangular pieces have been placed, pin all along the side of the elastic. Stein Branding Live. After you've pinned all the way along, it's a good idea to try your skirt on and look if you need to attach any more pieces. Once you've tried it on and everything is pinned, it's time to sew the edges of the elastic together. Make them meet like so with the insides of the fabric facing outwards and then just sew them together. Once the waistband has been sewn together, you're probably going to need to add a couple of extra pieces of triangles in the back, otherwise it might be right open over here and we don't want that. Once the extra pieces have been pinned on, you can go ahead and sew all the way around and be careful while you do this since we have so many layers of fabric this is pretty thick so be careful so that your sewing machine doesn't overwork itself so hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial for a fun mini skirt Thank you guys for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye bye!